Hey, this is George G. Welcome to George G. Woman Rock. How's everyone doing today? I was doing a nice, having a nice day. Had a nice week. Here's the weekend. Hope you're having a nice week. I know what you're doing. How's the weather? By you, the weather here is actually 50 degrees, 55 degrees. And it's pretty nice out here in New Jersey today. So it's funny out. Good. So there you go. There's my stupid weather port from New Jersey. Like you give a shit. <laughs> anyway, today we're doing, um, I watched a video a couple weeks ago. I did um, 10 songs. Ten of my favorite, well, ten of my favorite songs with the word metal in the title. So today I'm doing ten of my favorite songs with the word rock in the title. So, and there's a, if you thought there's a lot of songs with metal in the title, there's a million songs with, with rock in the title. So I picked ten of my favorites, and they're pretty much these are pretty. I did this exercise for myself, but I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. That's what I'm really like doing this for mostly because I want to hear you guys to say. There's so many songs that I picked. Both songs are pretty much. Um, duh, you know, like, oh, yeah, duh, you picked that song, but I'm going to be honest with this, with this I'm going to pick the songs I want to pick, and the ones I like, so, anyway, so you really, not, not any particular, particular order with these, so, so 10 songs with the, with the words rock in the title, now, the first one might be, might be surprised that it's on here, but it actually is a really good song, I really like the song, I really like the artist, um, he is a great songwriter, and the, the song, and the, well, the artist is John Fogarty, and it's from this album. And it's uh, Rock and Roll Girls. Something about that song, I always, it's one of those songs when I play it, I always repeat it and play it again and again. I always like, John Fogarty is such an amazing songwriter. I um, love the Creed and stuff. So it was really good. I had, like, when I was thinking of this list, this is one of the first songs I thought of was Rock and Roll Girls. So if you don't know the song, it's really, it's a really, uh, it's a good song. It's some, you know, it's John Fogarty. You know, he writes good songs. If you like his kind of stuff, if you, if you don't like it, you're not going to like it. But it's a good song. Next one. <clears throat> Here they all come to the dull ones. But this one had to be on there because it's a great song. And it's, you know, on the list. Scorpions, can you guess? Yes, Rocky Like a Hurricane. One of the, it's still a great anthem. It's still, I don't get bored of hearing it. None of these songs they get bored of hearing, so. It's one of the things. Rocky Like a Hurricane, definitely one of the, their anthems they still play to this day. And I had to put it on the list here for rock, songs of being with rock. Songs with rock in the title. Rocky Like a Hurricane. Great riff. Great, um... MTV played that video for it for to death back in the day, so it was a really really good one. So yeah, there you go, Scorpions, Rock Like a Hurricane. Next one, maybe not like this one. It'd be a dull. It's a popular one, but not a maybe dull. I could have picked another one from them, but I picked this one from Blue Oyster first album, "Cities on Flame" with Rock and Roll. Love that song. That is one of the first songs I got. Probably one of my favorite songs by Blue Oyster Cult. I could have picked Are You Ready to Rock, too, but I picked this one because I love that song. love the whole, the, the way it's, Boris Cult is one of the bands I just got into, like, not too long ago. And I absolutely love this song from the first moment I heard it, so. There it is. That's the third one on here. Next one. Don't talk about this band too much, but this album is a classic one. And I love the song. I mean, it's, it's, it starts off the album, and it's when, you know, they still were pretty, they were pretty popular. This album was pretty popular for the band. And, uh, Def Leppard, rock, rock till you drop. I love the song. I know it's a little bit 80s ish with the sound, and it wasn't as heavy as, uh, the album's not as heavy as, um, High and Dry, but it's a great album and it's a great song. Rock, rock till you drop. So, you know, you know the song. I show the back anyway. Great song, though. Def Leppard was, you know, this is their best, their last, I guess, great album. You know, well, they didn't have too many great albums. In my opinion. They had some good stuff. I should do a thing in Def Leppard one day with the albums I have by them. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, Rock, Rock, Till You Drop. That's the uh, fourth one. Fifth one, this is another dull one. And the title, it's more in the title of the song, and they say it once. But I had to put it on here. It's one of my favorite bands of all time. And there you go, rock and roll. I had to put it on there. For me, I had to put it on here. I just love the song Rock and Roll. I love Let's Up, but I don't get tired of song. People get tired of it. I know it's overplayed. I get them. Most songs are overplayed. I'm not going to lie. But I love the song Rock and Roll. So I love Let's Up. And, and uh, it's just great. The, drum, the, the drums from John Bonham on this one when it starts it off. And the end of it, it's just great. I love John Bonham. So there you go. Rock and Roll. Number five. Well, that's number five. Number, uh, yeah, number six on here. I'm picking this version of it. And you'll know when I show you the band what what song it is, but I'm picking this version of it because I like it a lot better. It would open the band's concerts back in the day, maybe probably I think from from they started they did it. Um, but it's from Queen Killers, 
We Will Rock You, the fast version when they still they open the uh, the uh, concert with. So, absolutely love it. Love the fast version. I never even. I think I heard this. I was shopping in some store. This is before I really got into Queen. Really, I didn't know too much about them. And then this song, okay, I knew. The, I know the song We Will Rock You, the regular version, which I do like too. And uh, this came on. The guy was playing it in the store, and I'm like, "Is that Queen?" And he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, what's up? It sells so fast. He goes, oh, it's on the live album. I was like, I never heard it. I was like, really good. I like the live version. It was so much faster and more power to it. So, yeah. So, Queen, we will rock you live. i put that one there. There you go. All right. Here's another uh, <laughs> anthem. And a, this is another dull one. I had to put it on here. I love this. I saw the song. It's played to death. I know it's played to death. My son loved this when he was a little kid. This song he liked a lot. When he was like three or four years old, he loved I played over and over for him. And uh, Anthem for the band, play Anthem Beat forever. Yes, I want to rock, Twisted Sister. It had to be on here too. So I had to put it on. I love the song. I'm not going to lie. This put songs I don't like, but and it's popular right now, but I want to rock. How many times did you hear that? Our band's got it. You got it, Twisted Sister, because of that song and this album. Come on, let's not lie. We know it. All right, the next one. Like I said, these aren't any order. I just put them in. I just put them on the table and put them in, in, the, in this order. They're not really any order. Another one. This is another dull one. And this is the studio version of it. The live version is a little more popular. I like the studio version for this one. And favorite band of all time. And rock and roll all night. I love the, the studio version better than the live version, which is probably weird to some people, but I just love it. It's, it's kind of because it's shorter. Because they kind of drag out the, um, the live version on stage like a little too long. Excuse me. Because, um, you know, Paul does all his things and the talk, and I read this here to Studio over. It'd be done in like two and a half minutes. It's done. So, Rock and Roll Night. There you go. That one. All right. Next one. One of my favorite songs of all time by the band. This is coming up. This one always, it's one of those songs. It's kind of weird, but it always gives me chills up my spine when I listen to it. Still, and it, I don't know why, but it does. And it is. ACDC, for those about to rock, we salute you. I love that song. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite songs of all time, and it was by the band, too, so. Sorry. Nose, every time I come up here, my nose is running. Pardon me. And, um, so anyway, yeah, that's a great, this way it starts. Whole chorus, the cannons blaring, even live or, or, or um, the studio version. It just always gives me that, that pumped up feeling, so. Love for those about to rock, we salute you, so. Great anthem, great song. Love the band. All right, this one, the last one on the list here, is one of my one of my favorite singers of all time too. And this might be an odd thing to pick. This is actually my favorite song by this artist, which is kind of weird because he's got so many songs in his catalog, more intricate songs, more less simple. This is the most simple song he does, but it's my favorite song. I don't know, and it's from Dio. We rock. Don't know why. I love we rock. Just love the song. Love Dio's voice. It's just a simple song. And it really would strictly just simple. So that's my favorite song by Dio. My favorite song um, that he sings. And it's, it's just a love the song we rock. It's repetitive, I know, but I love it. So there's my 10 songs with the word rock in the title. So you guys tell me below what you like because there's a million of them. I don't care what genre you pick from whatever, you you know, whatever it is. Country, country rock, whatever, rock metal, hard rock, whatever it is. Just put in the comments what you like songs with the word rock in the title because there's so many. There's just so many to choose from any, anything. You can, you know, Elton John has a crocodile rock. I mean, whatever you want to do. You know, it's uh, rock and roll from from uh, Motorhead, whatever fits for you. Put in the comments. I'd love to hear it for it. So, anyway, that's my list real quick. So, um, hope you like that video, this video. And um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Like the video. And um, that's it. Keep rocking metal alive. We'll see you next time.